In this video today guys, I'm going to be showcasing the best stretched resolution to be using in Fortnite Chapter 5. I'm going to be showcasing the best stretched resolution to use in Fortnite Chapter 5, the best stretched resolution for Fortnite Competitive, and the best stretched resolution to get the lowest input delay in Fortnite Chapter 5. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and please use code Tracer in the Fortnite item shop. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. The best stretched resolution to be using in Fortnite Chapter 5 is definitely going to be 6050 by 1080 Now, the reason why this resolution is very good is because it's not really close to native and it's not very stretched. Therefore, you're not going to be losing any FOV and it's also been used by pro player Phase Martos. At the same time, you're also going to be getting a 25% FPS boost as well as the benefits of stretched resolution, which is improving your aim and edits and obviously getting a huge advantage on FPS. Now, the best stretched resolution to use for Fortnite competitive is definitely going to be 1720 by 1080 This resolution has been used by pro players Peter Bot, Asian Jeff, Mr. Lost and Lacey. This resolution is also insane because it's not close to native and it's not stretched at the same time and at the same time you still get the benefits of stretched resolution. Now the best stretched resolution for zero delay is definitely going to be 1440 by 1080 I've been meaning this resolution since chapter 2 guys and it's literally zero delay. You're not going to feel any delay while you're using 1440 by 1080 even while you're playing on ranked. You're not going to be feeling any sort of delay. It's an insane resolution and at the same time you will be benefiting from a 50% FPS boost and it will also fix your FPS stutters guaranteed. It's such a great resolution but you'll be losing a little bit of fov which is kind of bad but to be honest for the benefits you're getting you should definitely try the stretched resolution all right so i've been seeing lots of lots of people not knowing how to set up stretched resolution so right here is how to set up stretched resolution on your pc it's very simple make sure you follow all of the steps so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is open alpha res the link will be down below in the description and then you want to go ahead and enter your desired resolution so for me i'm going to be playing on 1650 by 1080 which is the best stretched resolution to be using in fortnite chapter 5 and you want to cap your fps at your monitor's refresh rate so for me it's going to be 144 fps then you want to make sure to have it on full screen and uncheck read only and click apply once you're done with that uh, by the way the link for the alpha res is down below in the description once you're done with that you want to go ahead and search for nvidia control panel on your search bar all right, so once you open the NVIDIA control panel, you want to head over to change resolution. Then you want to go ahead and click customize and enable resolutions not exposed by display. Then create a custom resolution. Once you create a custom resolution, you want to enter your desired resolution. So for me, it's going to be 16, 6, uh, 1650 by 10 uh, 80. So you want to enter that resolution and then you want to click test and then click on yes. Once you do that, you're going to find your resolution here. You want to click OK on it and go to your custom resolutions and apply the stretched resolution. So for me, it's 1650 by 1080. You want to go ahead and click apply. Now, you're not done yet because lots of people forget this. And this is the reason why you have black bars on your uh, PC when you stretch resolution. You need to go to adjust desktop size and position. Uh, there we go. And make sure it's on full screen. You need to make sure it's on full screen. Otherwise, it's not going to work in game. Then once you open Fortnite, the stretch resolution will be applied. And that is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.